If you missed our last video explaining the difference between trading and investing, feel free to check that out right here. And as always, feel free to click that like button to support the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. We here at the studio really would appreciate it. So let's look at the trading side of the investment coin and dive into the different types of trades. The primary distinction between the various different types of trading is the amount of time spent in the trade, which affects both risk and reward. From scalpers who measure their time in minutes and seconds to positional traders who spend up to years in a trade to everything else in between. So let's dive into it. And yes, you heard me correctly earlier. As strange as the term might be, scalping is a form of day trading. Scalpers are short-term traders that may dart in and out of a stock dozens to hundreds of times per day. These guys are fast, often staying in a trade for a matter of minutes to seconds. This way, scalpers hope to reap a small amount of profit, relying on a large volume of trades to accumulate substantial gains. If the price of a company's stock rises from $41.50 to $41.55, the difference is really only a nickel. But scalpers capitalize on this by buying 100,000 shares at $41.50 and selling them at $41.55 for a profit of $5,000 in just that one trade. And often the price changes don't even have to be at a nickel, they can be even smaller than that. You just gotta move quickly. Similar to scalping, day trading is another short-term approach. And while all scalpers are day traders, not all day traders are scalpers. A day trader may hold a share for a couple hours, but never more than a full day. These guys also require an advanced understanding of technical trading and chart reading skills on state-of-the-art tools. Since they trade less frequently than scalpers, they try to make their gains considerably higher, often trading at 10 times the amount. But hey, bigger risk, bigger reward. And next, we have momentum traders. Momentum investing is a strategy that carefully rides the curve. It's a strategy in which investors buy securities and then sell them at their peak. These guys look for markets and securities that have had a high volume over the past three and a half months. And when they see one that they like, they buy it. They find buying opportunities in short-term uptrends and sell them when they're at their peak. There are some risks to this. They risk moving in a position too early, and closing out of a position too late, and easily getting distracted or looking over key trends and technical deviations. Next up is swing trading. Swing trading makes trends based on the swings within stocks. They focus on commodities and currencies that take place over a period of days. An advantage to operating this way is that they do not need to be glued to those screens that you see in stock photos and stock videos and even movies. Now say you want to use this advantage to its full scale, then you'd be a position trader. They very much like our investor mindset that we talked about in our previous video. They don't trade actively, with most of them placing fewer than 10 trades a year. Not only this, but these guys are building their portfolio assets for the long term. Well guys, that's the trading list for you. Which one do you think fits you best? What are some investment opportunities you're curious in? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe for more financial content.